What's up guys, Jake here with Jake Scott Herps, not to be confused with herpes because herpes is nasty and in this video I'll be showing you guys my leopard gecko pair. I call them a pair because there is a male and a female. They do lay, they're not really like, like, the genes and the genetics don't really mix that well. They're not really for, they're not like, um, they're not designer geckos is what I'm trying to say. They're not really for like breeding purposes. They're just pets, but since they are a boy and a girl, they do occasionally lay eggs. So there is like a, a moist, humid, you know, laying hide. I don't really use put it in there though because uh, she's not gravid, so it's not uh, not a big deal. I don't really know the color more, so if you guys know, um, be sure to you know tell me because I'm interested. I really don't know that much about the genetics. I know a little bit, but not. I'm not. I haven't gotten into all the morphs and stuff yet. But it's a 20 gallon long tank. As you can see, the female is the big sort of purplish looking one. Right here, she was a lot more purple. She's turning more yellow now. I don't know if that's like an age thing, or uh, or what. But yeah, if you saw in my reptile collection video, the tank was kind of it was kind of dirty and there was a lot of gravel everywhere, which is gravel's not the best for leopard geckos because uh, you know if they swallow it, that's pretty bad. If you know they go for a cricket and uh, they get some gravel instead, that's that's very bad. And uh, I just don't think it'd be like comfortable to sit on all the time, all the time just sitting on gravel. So. Switched up, uh, you know, put some sand in, took all the gravel out, and took out this big, um, this big tunnel-looking thing because you need a lot of sand for it, and that's like 50 bucks worth of sand, so uh, not, not really worth it. Um, but it's a pretty cool tank. There's a hide right here, a water dish right in the middle, and this other sort of rock formation hide. You can, uh, the male is actually inside of it right now. I don't know how I'm gonna get him out for you guys, but I'll just take her out for you. This is the female. If you guys, like, like I said, if you guys know the color morph, be sure to tell me. I originally thought it was Blizzard. I'm not completely sure. I probably, most likely, am wrong. But I think it's Blizzard. But yeah, here she is. This is Patrick. I know it's a boy's name, but uh, since she's purple, I guess her name's Patrick. Um, I guess I'll set her back down. And I don't know how I'm going to get this guy out. He's in here. I'll just try and... And this is Spongebob, because he's the yellow one. I don't know the color more for this guy at all. Maybe I'll make some other video or something if he comes out. But, uh, yeah, that's him. He's pretty cool. And, yeah, so that's our uh, little leopard gecko pair. I might do some kind of care video in the future for these guys, because leopard gecko is the only thing I really feel like I'd be qualified to give like a care video of, because I've had these guys for a while. I've had mine that's in my room for almost nine years, so it's um, been a long time. And also, uh, I've been getting a lot of shout-outs and uh, really good, cool comments recently, and I'm not avoiding those. Uh, I'm going to do a shout-out video in the future, but I haven't had an internet, and I won't for probably another week. So um, so the next time I'll make a video will be sometime then, and I've gotten some requests to do some other videos. I haven't been ignoring you guys. I've been trying to get on my mom's phone and you know go on Gmail and try and reply to all your comments and stuff, but it's a lot harder on a phone. But like I said... Um, I will get to all those things uh, soon, and uh, like I said, if you guys have any sort of video requests, leave it in the comments below, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.